Number nine, letter A. If a submarine sonar can measure echo times with a precision of 0.01 seconds, what is the smallest difference in distances it can detect? Assume the submarine is in the ocean. All right. So here's our submarine, and let's pretend that there is a, um, I don't know, a certain object, let's just say, I don't know, out here somewhere. All right, now let's just actually draw this as a little dot. So the submarine will send out some sonar, right? It travels as a wave, it hits the object, and then it reflects back. And when the submarine detects that um, sonar wave traveling back, when it detects the, the wave hitting the submarine again, it it can calculate now the distance that this object is from the submarine. However, though, the measuring devices, none of them, are uh, accurate to, you know, an infinite degree. So the time difference over which the submarine can detect an object is going to be, or the time difference in which it can register, I should say, um, the sonar coming back, it has a essentially like a variance of 0 0.01 seconds. So what that means is that if you think about it, right, the faster the wave travels, the larger then the uh, variance becomes, or the larger the unknown distance, okay, or the uncertainty in the distance, we can say. Um, so what I can do is I can just use the formula simply. Uh, velocity is going to be equal to distance over time, right? So if I know the velocity of the sound wave in water, which they told us it's going to be in, uh, ocean, in the ocean, which means it's salt water, that velocity is about 1,540. That's gotten from your table 17.1. Um, that means then what I can do is calculate the distance for the uncertainty, basically, or the variance in the time. So I can plug in my 0.01. What this tells me now, if I do the math here, well, I don't really need the calculator for that, right? So this works out to be about 15.4 meters, okay? What this means is that overall, if this has, you know, if this object, is whatever the distance over here uh, that the object is located, what it means that there's essentially a variance of about 15.4 meters, okay? However, uh, the wave travels to the object and then it travels back, right? So this distance, basically, that I'm calculating is kind of, the distance overall for going to the point and returning back. So if this is the total distance that's kind of uncertain, then we would divide this by two uh, to find then the uncertainty basically in just one direction. All right. So if we divide that by two now, we realize that the distance comes out to be, what is that, about 7.7? 7. 7. So let's see, 15.4 over 2. Yeah, so about 7.7. 7. So 7.7. 7. 7. I'll do uh, three sig fig, 7.70. Uh, this would now be the uh, smallest difference that basically the submarine can detect, okay? So that is in terms of meters. It's also like basically un the uncertainty in the measurement. Now, for part B, what is it saying? It says, discuss the limits of this time resolution imposing the ability of the sonar system to detect the size and shape of an object. So basically, if an object out here in the ocean is essentially uh, smaller than this, it won't be able to detect it. Okay, so that that's basically that. All right, guys. So thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Take care.